Rise and shine, Earth sign. It's Decav13 here, back again for another episode of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, oh, me and Shuichi went to go trap the ma well, catch the mastermind by setting up a bunch of cameras around the library. However, when the alarm went off that we set up, we found something we didn't expect to find. We found... Oh, I actually can't scroll over to him. Uh, if I go here, can I? Yep, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, Rantaro's dead. Rantaro got fucking killed. So now we gotta investigate and find out who killed Rantaro, the ultimate unknown. Like... Now we're never gonna know what his ultimate talent was. He's dead. Like, I, I can't believe they killed off the guy with the unknown talent first. I never would have thought they'd do that. But, oh man, oh, you know, it, it really occurs to me how amazing it is to be playing these games blind. Because, holy shit, I, I just got thrown for a fucking loop. Oh, oh, it's so good, it's so good. Uh, um... Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to... But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No, it's fine. I can do it. My mind was set and I started to walk toward Rantaro's body. <sighs> Rantaro. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Why did Rantaro die here? What do you mean, die here? I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? Uh, are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole hey. thing. Um, Kaede. I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I am... Sort of a detective, after all. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, uh, remember? Okay. Ah, right. Alright, where do we start? Well, let's start with a bloody shot put ball. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... The shot put ball? Could it be... Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Mm. There's blood all over it. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You could have... You would have... You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Yeah. That's exactly what my train of thought was in the last episode when I talked about my theory. In case you guys didn't hear my theory, you should go back and listen to it. Hmm. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I... can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's mm. body. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um. So we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes. For now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. What? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, um... I'm checking to see what he has on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you, after all. How can you say that with so much... confidence? Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Rantaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's the same model as ours. He didn't have a card key on him? That's what I was thinking. But he didn't have it. Then Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. 
So, with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Alright, Rantaro's belongings. He only had the key and his own monopad on him. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Hmm. Something is bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems unlike it seems likely that he is not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Yeah, why why was he here? I thought he went to the game room without anyone with everyone else. But I, I'm assuming that too, Kaede. It has something to do with the what the plan Rantaro mentioned. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? That's possible. He noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Uh, what? Um. He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Uh, you mean, he had the same idea as us? N no way. He should have told uh, us. We could have worked together. Oh, Kaede, don't cry. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. no, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede. But Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Mm. That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember... Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. Aw. They're so cute together. You know someone's gonna fucking die. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi's right. We can't give up till it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Alright, I guess, uh... Let's investigate this, too. Let's investigate the front bookcase. Some of the books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged on, in various stacks mm. on top. It doesn't seem that anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, the books that you stacked up haven't yeah. moved. Oh, you mean the, the ones I stacked up, stacked to keep the vent, to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Right, so the stacked books were untouched. What about the vent itself? The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. Mm. We were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in, in or out through there. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so... They didn't go through the vent. They had to come through the door. I don't think this globe is important. Yeah. How about the ladder? Alright, nothing out of the ordinary with the ladder. That's just going near the body. What about the moving bookcase itself? The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Okay. Yeah, it should, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember. It's still here. I should take it down now. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Huh? You can turn it okay. off. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Alright, Shuichi's receiver. I started talking with everyone else. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. 
because he pressured us. This happened. That motive he gave us is a part of it. And so is that strange music. Oh yeah. That's terrible. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind so that this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Emotional video. Mew. Trashy skank. Don't talk to me, Crotchitch. I'm fucking busy. Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. What's that controller for? Dun da da da! It's a prone. Prone? You mean a drone? I don't mean to butt in the butt in on the conversation, but don't you mean drone? If it was a prone, it'd team up with the rest of the ganglion alliance to destroy humanity. I have no idea what she's talking about. Fucking goddamn it, Smooky, stop. Wait a second. The controller is. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you're getting it, dick cheese! She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Oh. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Miu Iruma. It's a drone! Drone? I told you that's a drone! If there was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. Samugi, please stop. I get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Not bad, Mew. I decked it out with a camera, so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. <laughs> From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Good shit, this Mew. Way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty smart. Drafting a floor plan with photos. Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. The only problem is I'm not used to operating a drone and taking Jeez. pictures with it. You shouldn't be proud of that. If you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. I, can do, I can't do shit about that. Just calm your tiny tits and oh, shut up. Sh shut up. Uh, shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. Kayate is now the time. Rantaro is dead not ten feet from your from where you're standing. And you're arguing with Mew about your tits. Oops, I opened the mono. <laughs> what did I do? Udders. Udders. You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, Mew. You got anything extra to say, um, Shuichi? Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came when we yeah. came in here? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the door closed. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it. So how did that hmm. happen? Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, you let go of the bookcase after waiting for a bit. Yeah, it makes sense because if the mastermind's in there and someone walks into the library, they're gonna see the door. Uh. Oh, it closed on its own. Mm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Alright. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you hit enter the hidden door... Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Let's check that now. Huh? How do we check it? Remember. Dust on the carburetor, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Is there still dust on the carburetor? Then... Alright, let's see. 
We leaned, we leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. It still got dust on it. Oh, I guess Rantaro opened the door. And then after he opened it, he got killed. Like when he opened it, he got ki he got killed. And then the door just closed on its own. You're right. Looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Mm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they got used to the card reader? No. After they used the card reader. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. <laughs> then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was Rantaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Maybe someone was hiding here and thought Rantaro was the mastermind and killed him. Oh, no. I see. Well, I still think the mastermind's the culprit. So, we just need to find clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way, too. Yeah, I don't think we should be doing that. How about you, Kurumi? What do you have to say? But... Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood huh? perk? What? Yeah. The culprit must have killed to survive. So it is odd they did not they would not have stepped for they would not step forward. Mm. True. I wonder what that That's means. True. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive. It was to kill everyone huh? here. A everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Did we talk to Ryoma yet? Well, if you're not the ultimate detective. You've, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? I'll what? It to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. <gasps> oh, I want to know too. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything not yet. Cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's got to be. Uh, Jeez. But you're you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. Well, if things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> Let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix the twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. What do you mean? I mean that testimony to that evidence are powerless. Be careful. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went to this door before we discovered Rantaro's body. We went to the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah, we saw them we saw the moving bookcase, and then when we ran That's over. True. We found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door we did. Maybe the Mastermind did yes. too. We see the pictures after the Monocubs developed them. That'll be clear. Aww. I guess all we can do is wait. There's the side door too. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway. By the way, this is a sliding door. See, it opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yes, I saw mm -hmm. that. Do you think Rantaro entered through uh, this door? Um, I can't see for sure until we get those pictures back from the Mono Cubs. Um, You're right. We'll just have to wait. Um. Kaide, I think we investigate the entire library now. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the Mastermind. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... But then again, we can't just say, say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. 
Are we gonna go check out Rantaro's room? Keep investigating? Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm -hmm. The six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Hmm. One of them could have killed Rantaro. They should have been along at they should have been in the game room along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Alright, to the game room we go. Like, I have a suspect in mind. But I don't know if he is the s I don't know if Gonta really is the killer. Oh, here's Maki. Hey, Maki, we got something to ask you. Um. Maki, you were in the game room when Rantaro was hey. killed, right? What were you all doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Am I a suspect? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? huh? Because. Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. Don't know. So trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child but... caregiver. But why were you all here in the first place? It was Kaito's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting to gather us together. So it was Kaito who gathered everyone here. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. And he picked the seven people that he thought would be useful in a fight. Seven people. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. But, um, I'm not sure those seven people would all be useful in a fight, though. Like Himiko, for example. Kaito- oh, and Angie, too. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. But what about you, Maki? Why do you also pick the ultimate child this caregiver? He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> wow, Kaito. That's it? Jeez. That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room? In the basement? Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um. And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy That's meeting true. with you? He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Kaito and Tenko went looking for him, so he could finish the meeting before time expired. So basically everyone here has an alibi. That must have happened around... So everyone has an alibi for when... Everyone in there has an alibi for when... Uh, Rantaro was killed. Yeah. Um. Then did the four of you just wait in the game room no. the whole time? Angie, Himi- Oh no. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? Gonta did arrive. But then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. He was in the AV room by himself? But that leads out into the hallway. Um, what other you? two? Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. So, this is the AV room and it's unlocked now. That, the AV room is that room in the Creepy. back, right? Kaide, have you never been in there before? Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. Wow. Wait! Wait! Go to not murder Come anyone! On, I told you, we're not saying you did. We just no. want to talk. No, it's him, alright. He's got the face of a killer. No, way. no, no judge gone to buy his outside. On inside, gone to gentlemen. Hey! Hey, what's going oh. on here? 
Oh, hey there, Kaide. We were just trying to ask him. Yeah, just tell us why... Just tell us while we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Mm -hmm. Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Himiko, stop trying to trip him up with double negatives. Going to not not not... Uh... Uh... It's just been this over and over. Can't move forward at all. I think your questions are the problem. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Himiko, what is this now? That's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math you know? homework. Hey, Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? But what were you doing here alone? Gonta happy to be invited to, meet, to meeting, but Gonta think he'd not be much help, because he's not smart. Bugs are. So Gonta in here alone, watching bug movie. Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Bug movie fill Gonta with fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But why was it locked? What was locked? If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Gonta no can become girl? Gonta? Then Gonta never becomes gentleman. Himiko, Himiko, can you shut up for a second? You make this harder than it needs to be. Gonta, can you tell us what happened Gonta. next? Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That it really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. But you guys not believe? Not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, what? huh? Calm down. You're making a really scary Look face. Cause Gonta feels so useless. And after hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaide, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah, you're right. Mm. I'd like it if Gonta wasn't the culprit, but... Then who else could it possibly have been? Because if it's not... Because it, Gonta... So far... For the seven who were in, or for the other six who were in the basement with Rantaro, everyone but Gonta has an alibi. <sighs> I honestly don't know what to believe. Check the video player. A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside though. This doesn't have anything to do with the. Doesn't it though? Gonta said he was watching a bug movie. It's a screen for the projector, but the, but the projector is That's turned true. off. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pole of sorts. Hm? No. So what? I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? Sometimes you say weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Okay. Ah, you think so? S sorry, you can treat it as me talking to myself. What's this? Poster bucket? There's some posters rolled up with rubber bands in a cylindrical bucket. Is this a movie poster? They're all the same, too. I took a poster out and unrolled it. Ultra Despair Girls 2? Don't- don't fucking tease this shit! No! Get the fuck out of here! Looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before. A high school with a megaphone and a serial killer. Sounds like some lame spin-off. Is it one of Monokuma's yeah. pranks? Probably. They better not fucking make Despair Girls 2. That would be a fucking tragedy and a half. Now, lots of movies crammed into the bookcase. Oh, The Legend of 1900! I've always wanted to see this film! The one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? The film won awards for its phenomenal, phenomenal music. U.S. Audience re audiences were moved to tears. Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Yeah. Yeah, we do. What else do they have here? Hmm. I grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. What the fuck? There, there's porn in here? Find any movies over there? Oh, um, nothing suspicious over here. Let's go look what somewhere happened? else. What's wrong? Did you see something? I said it's nothing. 
There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. I mean movies. Wait. Kaida, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me take a look. Oh, jeez. No, th don't come over here. <laughs> a couple minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with beet red faces. <laughs> Why is there porn what? in here? I Sorry. told you. L let's investigate something else. <laughs> There's fucking porn in here, goddammit. What's in this video rack? <laughs> Hopefully not more porn. Oh, <laughs> it would have been the same thing no matter which one I chose to investigate. Yeah, the backsliding door. This one I'm curious about. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Is this connected to the hallway? It seems that way. Let's check. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. I tried to open it, but... Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed right. Can I stick my arm through? I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use no. this door. No, no. If it's gone, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, he could eat the he could eat this door Gonta for breakfast. Do that? Going to not eat door for breakfast? Breakfast, most important meal of any gentleman's okay. day. I agree. Huh? <laughs> huh? You think Gonta could eat no. this door? Uh, no, not not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Well, look at this. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. This sliding door hasn't been moved in a while. So then he just forced his way through the gap. Then the door will be broken. Hmm. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. Ah, oh, fuck. He could have just thrown the ball through the gap in the door with the door to the fucking light. No, that wouldn't make any sense, though. Because the sliding door to the hallway... The, yeah, because yeah, then the sliding door to the hallway would be open. That doesn't make any sense. I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough. And, yeah, aren't shot put balls bigger than baseballs? I feel like they are, too. So maybe that's not it. It's magic. <laughs> he may cut you in your magic. Gonta no can use okay. magic? Oh, I can use magic. <laughs> These two never have anything important to say. Yeah, they don't. What's, What's up, Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try sliding the door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered, I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. The door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Yep. Hmm? So what? I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning how? Yeah, I... I, I I understand exactly what Shuichi means. You could have thrown... Gonta could have just thrown the shot put ball through the gap in the door and hit Rantara with it. Hmm. I think we investigated everything here, mm -hmm. too. Then what should we hey. do next? For now, let's ask the others some questions. There's still people we haven't Aww. talked to. This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We already know who the mastermind mm -hmm. is. That's true. But we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah, yeah you're right. Alright. So, who else do we have to talk to? Also, I didn't mention it before, but holy shit, this investigation theme's fucking fire. Oh, Tanko, we want to talk to you. Oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room, but she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Alright. Mm -hmm. I see. I knew it! Gonta would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male. Mm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? By the way, how has your investigation been going? I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male. Hey, Degenerate, don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. What have you been doing? 
I've been watching Angie. Watching Angie? We agreed to investigate uh, with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. Oh, that's why you're with Angie? I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. Oh, she does not look happy right now. Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. Can we check the door of... Oh, hey, there's Angie. Yeah, well, talk to Angie then, I guess. Hey. You're not gonna investigate, Hi. Angie? Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua, too. Amen. Oh, Atua, please let Rantaro enter heaven safe hey. and sound. I suppose a prayer couldn't mm. hurt. Rantaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. Okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a Platinum Disciple. Oh, so it is a cult! Sounds like a credit card rewards program. I think that's everyone here. There's some people upstairs we gotta talk to, too. There's someone hanging out over by the entrance. That's Kokichi. Alright, we have to come over everyone else. Alib everyone's alibis. Oh, investigating together, aren't we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Are you here alone, Kokichi? Hmm? Yeah, Jeez. why? We all agreed to investigate with, le with at least one other person. Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Why would you do something like that? Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rantaro was killed? Ooh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I was in the library, smashing in Rantaro's head. Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? What? If I gave you honest answers now, we'd just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you all the class trial. That would be way more fun. This trial's gonna be boring anyway, since we have, since we have photo Stop. evidence. What are you anyway. saying? I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some That's fun with it. This isn't a game. Rantaro was murdered. All of our lives are at How stake. Exciting. Exactly. It's a game of life or death. I swear, he has the philosophy of Byakuya. And at the same time, he's the same stupid fucking smug asshole that Nagito was. I don't know how to feel about Kokichi. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class trial to start already. Is Kokichi actually enjoying this situation? Alright, uh, if we check the map, will it show us, like... Ah, uh, it does. Alright, so Kibo and... Kyo are in the classroom we were in. So let's go check that out. You know, Kaito was assembling people to f Oh, well, I, I understand why I wouldn't want to bring Kibo. He's weak as shit. I forgot about that. Alright, let's ask you two. Kaide, Shuichi, I'd like to ask you two a question. You all look out inside this classroom, yeah. right? Yeah, from here we keep an eye on the basement. And it's close to the library, too. That's our alibi. We were both inside this classroom and the murder I occurred. I see. And the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire no. time? No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together until together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah, that's Thank right. You very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Hey. Is that all you um. wanted to ask? Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about that vent. By the way. What's up, Kibo? It appears to be connected to this classroom. 
The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yeah, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching this classroom. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're here, if we're in here That's on right. lookout. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library okay. from here. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. My memory bank. Really? I'll be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Thank you very much. You know, with with Shuichi running out of the room, I can't help but think that people are going to suspect him. Uh, boy. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Oh, there's a cat in here. I think someone left the cat in my room. Hey. No, don't climb in my lap right now. I'm recording. No, down. Hmm. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. A past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? <laughs> Alright, Kyo? Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, huh? yes. Huh? You How'd see. you know? My appearance and actions thus far suggest that I am someone who, c who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. So to briefly state the truth. When the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. God fucking damn it, stupid cat. I, now I gotta let him out. Cause he d never wants to stay in here. I'll be right back. When the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Oh, yes. The other people there with me were Mew, Kirumi, and Sumugi. The monocubs prepared a meal for me. It was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Or some such. Mm. That pasta sounds depressing. That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. It also gives an alibi to Mew... Uh... Whoever else he's talking about. Who was it? It was Mew, Kirumi, and Samugi. Alright. What about the people around you? Did you notice anything, anything in yes. particular? Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Mew was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief, brief period of time where Samugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Samugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Someone else? But who? I don't know, but I'll talk- I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Alright, did we get rid of him Kibo when he talked to us? Hey Kibo, what were you doing and where- What were you doing and where during the body discovery announcement? Ah, my alibi. Jesus. Searching his database. Um, are you glitching right now? No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was in a I was alone in my room. So I admit my alibi is altogether is not altogether reliable. So you don't have an alibi. But Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? Th that was not my intention. I see, both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um, um am I under suspicion because I don't have an no. alibi? No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that, be that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Much. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. <laughs> Alright, so Kibo and Ryoma didn't have alibis. Putting aside that thing about Sumugi, 
Now we know everyone's huh? alibi. Huh? What about no. Kokichi? We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have I been see. alone. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're the detective, and I'm... not. <laughs> Alright. Samugi's still at the crime scene, so let's go talk to her. I need to ask her what she was doing exactly what exactly she was doing in the bathroom. Alright, Samugi. Uh, hey. Hey Samugi, I need to ask you something. Uh, no, not this hmm. again. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Samugi's shirt and began to lift it slowly. I'm gonna lift your skirt, Samugi. You okay with that? Wait, Kaide! You better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Suichi to see. I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so that everyone can see your panties. What the fuck, Kaede? I understand. I just need to talk, right? Oh, it took you long enough. Well, I can't let Shuichi's innocent eyes That's get cool. dirty. Ah, no, they won't get dirty. <laughs> Shuichi? Shuichi? Are you saying you've seen dirtier Shuichi? I mean, yeah, just now in the AV room. Do you not remember, Kaede? What did you want to talk know? about? I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you can disguise yourself as anyone. Even one of us, right? Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters. <laughs> well... I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, oh. I can't. You can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... Cosplay isn't a disguise! Oh, sorry! Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Show me how. Come on, Kaede. Ah, wait! She just take my clothes. Sumigi grabbed me and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um. Are you gonna punch me? Or tie hey, me up? Yeah. There's no way I'd do a thing like that. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. What? Uh, Why? Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Right? But... Come on, come on, hurry up! What? <laughs> I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. Every time me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into yeah. my clothes. Okay, now you can look. What the f- Why are you purple? And also, damn Kaede. <laughs> a gross, bumpy rash had spread across Samugi's body. Holy shit, that's a rash? She looks like she's fucking sunburned from head to toe. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. <laughs> what happened to your skin? Cosplay of the spiky-headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is Cospop. An allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. What the this fuck? Is the price for my power. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, what? I get it. Change out of my clothes already. What the actual fuck? <laughs> we changed our clothes, then returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. Kaede, what don't happened? cry. Kaede, what's wrong? Samugi couldn't have disguised yeah. herself. You understand since you saw the Cospox, right? Cosplay is love. Right. You breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them. From fiction to the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. I really didn't need that long explanation. Oh, that's it I guess. Huh? Huh? This chime! You bastard! 
Monokid? It's time, you bastard. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Monokid? Hey, does my face look weird to you? Does my face always look this weird? I think Monokid is really fucked up right now. Hey. You hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go. Come on, get a move on. Uh, wait, Kaide? I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand. So what are we going to find in these photos? I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Ah, oh, wait, Kaida, you shouldn't get so worked up. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine, sign. <laughs> oh, you came! We're intruding. She never had that flower on her before, did she? Sure did. I came to see you, toots. <laughs> you're lovely as always. Oh, Monosuke, you're such a flirt. Isn't it? Is this incest? Ah, may I join you for a drink? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? This is great. Hey, how long are you going to do this for? Take these. Why do you- why you got lumps? It's all photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you. Now. Dead. Dumbass! <laughs> I'm so rich. What's a journalist gotta do about it? What are they gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Monophony. Wanna get out of here when your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. What's your name and age? Home district salary? You have another job. So long, farewell. What the fuck was going on there? <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly, Kaede. Uh, um, anyway, it looks like we have the pictures yeah. now. Yeah, finally. That took way too long. Oh, hey, everyone else. Um... Kaide, are those the developed right. photos? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's All right. face. Alright, um, let's take a look. Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. This is when we arrived at the library. So took a picture then. Yeah, this is right before we found Rantaro's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me. But don't focus on it too much, okay? Rest assured, we do not care. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the next one. Um, this is... It's a picture of us when we heard... When we were running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah, okay. Everyone else showing up. This is everyone else who came to the library after the five discovery announcements. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on my way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. There's one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Shuichi? Ah, sorry. Looks like I tricked one of the sensors when I was removing the cameras. What are you saying? Um, this picture doesn't have any clues that'll help us either. Oh well. Hmm. The camera point at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. Alright, so those are not all that useful to us. Neither Rantaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. They both under through the back door then. 
Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance, then. Only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Um, let's see the first picture. There's Rantaro. Rantaro! So Rantaro went in through the rear entrance. Perhaps no one would see him. Or perhaps no one would see him. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. Now the body should have no sense of being moved. But that does not appear to be the case. So that means he was killed in the library after going there of his own free will. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. Shuichi? Uh, sorry, me again. Just when I was moving the camera. Yeah, what an attention hog. <laughs> Damn it, Shuichi. He, he had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. Yeah, he did. I don't think that makes him suspicious, though. That's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. The hell? Just those? Huh? Culprit not in rear entrance photo either? What does this mean? They're not in either the front or rear entrance pictures. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey, Shuichi. Don't you think that's weird? Uh, um... Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Oh, yeah. The camera should capture the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hoped that, that I hoped that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was, I'm guessing it's when Rantaro opened the door. Yeah, Rantaro opened the door. Oh, Rantaro! But if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... He must have known about the hidden door. Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Yes, that is a possibility. For now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? Yeah, here it is. What? Oh, he found the camera. Huh? What's Rantaro doing? Looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor of this camera was switched off. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. That would mean Rantaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why the sen- The flash on this one was on! Cause look, it's all lit up. I don't get it. Who cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? This last photo must have been taken shortly after, shortly before Rantaro was killed. You know, and something doesn't really add up either. Because if Rantaro was killed by someone throwing the... Well, no, because... Ah, oh, this doesn't make any sense. If someone threw the shot put ball through the door, wasn't the bookcase blocking the door? If so, the culprit should be pictured right behind him in, the f in this photo. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Those photos didn't help at all. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues. And we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste! Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. <laughs> How rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras. So relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around. These are serious all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd they kill Rantaro? Yeah, so that must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh man, I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos were, would reveal the culprit. Oh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. You should have been investigating. Way. Oh, by the way. Hmm. Rantaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? 
Yeah, he was holding on to his I monopad. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad on him. I inspected- Yeah, but wait! His monopad was in his pocket! Could it be that that's not his monopad? Oh man... Oh man, so it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. So uh, why the hell... Um... Kaede? I guess that's it for investigation. Oh, the Shrine Remember of Judgment is where we go. Surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. Huh? Time already? It seems we have no choice but to continue this, this discussion at the class <gasps> trial. I don't want to go. A pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> <laughs> what, you <s> <laughs> What, you scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class yeah, trial. Right. And then everything, including this killing game, will come that's to an right. end. Yes, that's right. Let's find the mastermind, and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. Hey, Shuichi. Okay? Kaede, really? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Alright. It's not going to take us right there. It's pretty dumb. Alright. It's this red door, right? Hey! Ah, Kaede. I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit. But the mastermind as well? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Y yes, but... It's just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Well, I don't know if it's true either. But that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You always seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. What the fuck is that? That wasn't there before. So this is the Shrine of Judgment. Careful everyone! If bad things happen, get behind Gonta! Then give me a piggyback ride! Come on, Thanks. carry me! Oh my god, you are so fucking annoying! So what are we doing in the class trial? Uh, so are we doing the class trial no. here, or what? No, Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere that from here. Troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? I mean... This Monokuma statue gives us such a weird vibe. 
Yeah, there it is. Huh? Um. What? Oh, there's the elevator. But, uh, what the fuck was that? Huh? Is this... an elevator? Is... Does he want I us to board wanna. it? I don't do scary rides. I don't want to get on it either. Stay behind then. Though I'm sure that'll just be worse for you in the end. Yeah, that's true. I know. However, if anyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape's not an option. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be alright. Because... Because we make such an incredible team. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Kaito Momota, Bring Luminary it! Of the stars. I'll show them how I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live. <laughs> Don't you mean Dumbass. die? Don't say something all ominous I like that. Nah, we've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's okay. do it! We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Determined, we all stepped forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I was shaking with an anxious dread. But I kept going, because I decided to fight. And then, everyone had boarded the elevator. Super cool. It's actually an elevator. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Kyo, stop being fucking weird. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. By all means, go ahead. <laughs> Kibo! Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. <laughs> As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Shu Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid Aww. of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening. I really like these pic I really like the pictures of I them together. Can do this. I'm gonna have my heart fucking stamped on by the end of this game, I can tell. There's no way Kodaka would let me be You're that scared. happy. Borrow <laughs> the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert? I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. Alright, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. <laughs> Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. <clears throat> After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Why, hello, bear. Welcome to the class Yay! trial. Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting. Finally, a game that feels hey, like girl. a game. Just as the prophecy foretold. Listen up. From here on, things are going to get so violent you'll wish you could no turn way. back. That's not true. There won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. What bad taste. Uh, 
Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Psycho pop! Of course. Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. The worst of the worst. You're seriously the worst. <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the winners and the are the real winners in this world. <laughs> It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, so long as you're having oh, fun. I see. Wow, this is pretty sickening. It's almost refreshing. So how do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. <gasps> New World Order! It. As I walked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Rantaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No. He was murdered by some horrible low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why. We're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Rantaro now. His killer is in the room with us. The mastermind who's, for who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is, so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can end- so we can- end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight to the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Alright, we'll save here. I'm actually gonna start saving over some very early saves I made. Oh man, we're finally at the first trial, guys. Like, holy shit. Ugh. Uh, no one wanted to believe it was real, but Rantaro was killed just before the time limit. Now Kaede and Shuichi must take on the class trial. Alright, so, we're gonna do all our preparations in the next one, so, I'll see you guys then. Bye!